So something I do want to share with you guys this week is just how I was able to lose the weight that I've lost this time um, and why this time was different than all of the other times when I've tried to lose weight and kind of yo-yoed. <laughs> Good morning, Finnish friends. Thanks for joining me today. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I just talked about how Courtney and I wanted to wake up at five and get our workouts done first thing in the morning before our kids wake up. And yeah, that was a total flop for me. I have a really hard time falling asleep, so I didn't fall asleep till two last night. And yeah, I woke up at five thought about doing my workout and then crawled back in bed for an hour because I was just way too tired. So instead of like wallowing in the fact that I didn't do what I wanted to do and beating myself up over it, I'm gonna get it done right now. It's still first thing in the morning, it's only nine. I just got my twins down for their nap and I got my oldest set up with some Play-Doh. So um, I'm gonna go get my workout in. Jade decided he's gonna work out with me. have to end our workout early because the twins are awake but we got a good 20 minutes in um, I'll probably either pick it up a little bit later um, during the kids second nap or if they don't nap um, I'll just make sure that I get my 10k steps in so life with kids now that I've got that workout in um, I feel really good I feel like I finally accomplished it um, and I am going to go throw some food in the crock pot for dinner. So a couple weeks ago, my husband Caleb and I decided that to make our grocery shopping a little bit easier every week, we were going to designate like a theme for each night. So instead of being like, oh my gosh, what should we have for dinner? I have no idea. Um, every Monday we do Buddha bowls, every Tuesday we do tacos, every Wednesday we do crock pot etc etc I'll share it later um, but yeah tonight's crock pot night so yesterday I prepped some onions on my Instagram story and I'm gonna go throw those in with the rest of the ingredients I'm gonna throw all this stuff in the crock pot and we're gonna have French onion soup tonight if you want the recipe I will post it in the video description down below So something I do want to share with you guys this week is um, just how I was able to lose the weight that I've lost this time um, and why this time was different than all of the other times when I've tried to lose weight and kind of yo-yoed, lose, gain, lose, gain, lose, gain. So there are a few things that I think are invaluable to anybody's um, success. The main thing that has changed everything for me this time is having a support system. Before I was always in my head and didn't tell anybody what I was trying to accomplish. I didn't share 
um, that I was trying to lose weight or change the way I was eating or anything like that. I was just all in my head. So anytime I would have a bad day, um, there was nobody to pick me up, nobody to talk me through it, um, nobody to hold me accountable, and that was really hard because I would get off track and stay off track. Um, so support system, number one thing, huge. Second biggest thing has been drinking my water. Um, it's just so important. It hydrates us, gives us fuel to keep going. If we're eating something that's too salty, it helps us flush out all the water weight. Like, water is huge. Um, so that's number two. Accountability is one. Water is two. The third biggest thing has been my Fitbit. So I've had this before, I had it for a long time, and I'm still really bad about, like I'll leave it on the charger and forget to put it back on. Um, but this time I have my support system. Alicia will like taunt me on the Fitbit app, which is hilarious and I love it because it reminds me, oh my gosh, I need to put it back on. Um, so I love it because it has an app that syncs with it um, and I can input all my water and stuff through there too and it's also helping me see how I'm sleeping which I think I mentioned before I have insomnia so it's kind of cool to see how my activity level coincides with my sleeping habits so that's pretty cool but the main reason is because I can actually physically see how much I'm moving I know what my stretch goals are and I know how much more I need to move in order to accomplish that. So, accountability, water, Fitbit. If you don't have a Fitbit, that's okay. If you have an iPhone, there's a pedometer inside your iPhone. So, keep it in your pocket and it will track all your steps for you. So, those are the biggest things. Also, I really have been loving the Diet Bet app. Courtney introduced it to me, and at the very beginning, Courtney, Alicia, and I all did a um, like a startup challenge. And basically, what this app is is that you bet money against yourself that you can lose four percent of your body weight in a certain amount of time. I think it's like twenty-eight days. So it's really great because not only are you doing this with other people who are trying to do the same thing, accountability again, but nobody wants to lose their own money because they couldn't reach a goal. Like it, it helps you in that way. Like, am I really going to lose $10 or 30 or however much your specific game is? Am I really going to lose that because I can't keep a promise to myself? Like, come on. So that's really fun. Um, that's been really cool and then also the my fitness pal app is a great um, uh, food tracker app <sighs> so I have a problem with forgetting to eat and when I remember to or have a minute to grab something I'm just grabbing something convenient like it's cereal or whatever um, so this is really good because I feel like as I'm sitting there logging my food, it's reminding me not only to eat, but it's giving me like nutrition information and how many calories are in this and where my macros are coming from. So I feel like I'm doing something good for myself by tracking my food. Also, of course, the calories. If you're counting calories, it's, it's a great tool. So... I highly recommend it if you're not tracking your food. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, everybody's different. These are the things that are finally working for me and there's a million other things out there. I just feel like these are the basics like essentials that have been invaluable for me this time. So hopefully that helps you a little bit. Um, and if you guys ever have any questions, Courtney, Alicia, and I are always here to help. We're definitely not experts. We're just three moms trying to get stuff done. Um, but we love building community and talking with people. If you have tips, share your tips. If you have recipes you want to share with us, um, share your recipes. 
or if you want to see something specific from us, just let us know. Leave it in the comments below. Uh, if you're liking our videos, give us a like, subscribe, connect with us on Instagram. We love talking with everyone and just bouncing ideas off of each other, supporting each other, and cheering each other on. So, um, yeah, that's it for me. I'll see you guys next week. Saying, what am I talking about? The kids won't stop screaming.